Who's this dude? The guy who used to deliver pizzas. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Minister Chalabit, Mr. Jonathan Lande, and Warren Strobel from Night Rider News. Gentlemen, welcome. Hey, thank you for finally agreeing to meet with us. I've been very busy talking to our competitors. I speak with whomever wishes to speak with me. After all, I have nothing to hide, which is more than I can say for Saddam. Okay, well, since you brought him up, I thought we might talk about what you know about his weapons and how he might be hiding them. He has WMD, and he's hiding them. That I know. Right. And, uh, and you know that how? I know everything that's happening in my country. Even though Iraq hasn't been your country for over a decade? I may be in exile, but I'm still an Iraqi. Well, I think the point my colleague is trying to make is how would you, an enemy of Saddam in exile, have access to such valuable information? I maintain close relationships with dissident intelligence sources. Is there a way we can verify that? No. See, that's kind of a problem for us because we can't write a story. I want what America wants, a free and democratic Iraq. With you as its leader? If the people of Iraq wish for me to return, yes. I want the opportunity to help rebuild my country, the way Mandela did in South Africa. But Mandela didn't ask the U.S. to invade his country. He wasn't fighting terrorists. With all due respect, that's where the red flags start to go up for us. Are you implying that I've created a false narrative for my own pursuits? Is there another reason why you'd create a false narrative? I don't lie. Saddam Hussein has mobile, chemical, and biological weapons labs. He has a nuclear program. He has ties to terrorists. And if you don't believe me, just ask the many other defectors and hear what they say. They will all tell you the same thing. Don't they all get their information from you? <laughs> if you were wondering why it took so long for me to meet with you, it's this smug attitude. You have no intention of reporting anything I've said. Do you want us to just be your cheerleaders? All right, I think we should go. Thank you for your time. Now I see why no one reads anything you write. I am an advocate for the removal of a vicious dictator, for a free Iraq, an Iraq that will one day be a close ally to your country, to Israel and to all of the Western world. And exactly how will this happen after Saddam Hussein is gone? All right, come on, Landy. No, 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 he says the world will be better off, but he doesn't say how. How would the removal of Saddam Hussein not plunge Iraq into a bloody civil war? Tell us something that makes sense, anything that makes sense, and we'll write that story today. You can't, because you have no idea what happens next, and neither does John. anyone else. John. I would rather go back and write for my high school paper than to be used by you to sell the American public your bullshit. By the way, it's Knight Ritter. <laughs>